Jammu and Kashmir High Court order to the state government on September 10th to ensure that the ban on the sale of beef in the state is strictly implemented has seemed to open the proverbial can of worms. This order of the Jammu bench was challenged just seven days later as the Srinagar bench entertained a public interest litigation against the ban and sought explanations from the state government on the validity of the legal provisions entailing the sale of beef. There have been reports of cow carcasses spotted in Hindu majority areas, which the police claim are rumours circulated to incite communities against each other. Jammu and Kashmir has also seen multiple internet blackouts imposed by the state government. An independent MLA Sheikh Abdul Rashid hosted a beef party and said that no courts or legislature can prevent the people from eating what they want. But few realised that the Jammu Benz order was only the reiteration of an over 150-year-old law. Because of its special status, the state of Jammu and Kashmir has two penal codes, the Indian Penal Code and the Ranbir Penal Code, both of which have almost all sections in common except for a few. Under Section 298A of the Ranbir Penal Code, intentionally killing or slaughtering a cow or like animal, including ox and buffalo, is a cognizable, non bailable offence punishable with 10 years imprisonment and fine. Under Section 298B, possessing the flesh of such an animal is a cognizable, non bailable offence punishable with imprisonment of one year and fine. The Ranbir Penal Code was enacted in 1862 by the then Dogra Maharaj of the state, while the Indian Penal Code also came into force in India the same year. Historically, even though there was a law, there was no urge among Kashmiri Muslims, who along with Kashmiri Pandits are voracious meat-eaters, to opt for beef. In Srinagar, beef is culturally looked down upon. It is considered a taboo. Kashmir is known as the mutton capital of India with consumption of around 1,000 lakh kilos per year and most of it comes from Rajasthan and Punjab. However, the recent judicial order has evoked strong resentment from various quarters with many separatist and religious organisations terming it as interference in religious affairs and have sought revocation of the law. This issue is now before the Supreme Court.